our little craft section now for Easter. Easter is a big event and there's all sorts of things. My wife, for instance, she's got two lovely wreaths, haven't you, on little, outside yes, our door? Little things. Lovely garlands, Easter, little I think things. they're yeah, called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easter garlands. And you've been sending in, uh, showing us off all your, your Easter, Easter decorations as well. Oh, that's well. nice. Yeah. That's Aww. really good. That's really good. Do you know, I think this is this is really lovely here because we've now got in the studio now the Queen of Crafts, Sophie Prescott. And I think it's, it's really good, Sophie, because, you know, you live and breathe all of this. Yes. Uh, and it's nice to see that there are people at home interested and who yes, make the time definitely. and the effort of doing all this. Sort. I mean, obviously, you can buy some Easter decorations as well, but it's nice to make them or yeah. do a mixture. Yeah. You know, whatever you like. So what have you got? So first up, we've got these really cute thread eggs that basically... You've weaved around a balloon and You're stuck all together. To so that. we'll show you how oh, to right. do it. So basically, you want to get some water balloons, and which are the little tiny, the ones, little tiny yeah. ones, because they blow up perfectly to the shape of an egg. Yes. You go bigger. Who'd have thought? Smaller. I know. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> and also, then you can use them afterwards in the summer. No. Um, if you want to add some chocolates inside your eggs, you can actually pop them into the balloon first, how then blow earth? them you, up. You get an elephant to blow them I up. I have a, um, a balloon a pump, pump, a pump because I can't blow balloons. Well, they're quite mm -hmm. tough. The water balloons. Yeah, they are. They, <laughs> they got quite hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all spit all over it. Thank yeah, you. lovely. Of my own. Okay, so you can pop some chocolate inside there, then blow the balloon up, and then yeah. when you've actually finished and popped the balloon out, it will be inside Have the egg. egg inside. Yeah. So you want to make a mixture of 50% water and PVA glue. Now, this is a bit of a trial and error. Trial and error. Mm. Don't go too mad with the water because otherwise it won't stick enough. But if you go too mad with the glue, then it's going to be too gloopy. Just start the glue and then add the water. Yeah, I would. So okay. just you're going to have to give it a go. So you're going to take a piece of thread. Now, this is just normal sort of sewing thread that you'll get from craft shop. Embroidery thread, is that? Embroidery yeah. thread. Now, this is about eight metres long, I think, mm. so it's you need that to get, like, the support around the balloon. But you might quite like different colours, too. Yes, you can try different colours, or you can use normal string and yeah. use food colouring in mm -hmm. the mixture, or you can go for a natural look. OK, do your thing. Right, so you're going to dip it in. This is going to get quite messy. Dip it in like this. I'm just going to do a little bit. And then you literally... I'm just going to take the balloon and then wrap it round... And then you literally just keep wrapping it all the way around. And you've got to make sure you go over the edge, the end piece, yes. so it's sealed in. So once it's completely weaved round, you're then going to leave it for, I'd say, overnight to dry. Mm -hmm. And the sensation that you should, when you feel it, should be quite crispy. It is quite crispy. It's noodly almost. Yes. Like noodles. <laughs> noodles. Yes, crispy noodles. noodles. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then what you do is you take your pin. Yes and you let it deflate slowly and then you pull it away. And if you see in so front of... Yes, because you have to be quite gentle pulling the balloon back out, Yes, you? you do. I mean, like, um, I went a bit mad and really popped one and it mm. completely collapsed, but you can save them and pull them back out again. It's giving me such a headache trying to blow that balloon up. <laughs> well... I need a pump. Need a pump. Pump it. Um, but if you can see... <laughs> Probably what it is. <laughs> As you can see from the front, I've actually added them to lights. So they've got oh, these yes. really gorgeous copper uh, metal pieces on the lights. Now, I couldn't get the copper pieces into the balloon, so I, I was mindful of this when I made these yes. and made b big enough gaps, pushed them through, and then attached them. That's where you do That's what you do. Yes, That's well, apparently, you're the craft queen. apparently so. Mm -hmm. 